Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today I wanted to give you another little snippet of what's going on behind the scenes to do the special effects for the new Alien Invasion series that I've been doing. What I'm working on right now is a shot where I have my neighbor come over, and I shoot all these by myself. I don't have actors that I can hire, and you know, my neighbors aren't thespians, so, and neither am I for that matter. Uh, but what I've been doing for uh, the limited number of characters that I have in there is that I'm playing them myself. Uh, just in the little time slots that I have to shoot these things, it's just easier because I don't have to schedule with anyone. Uh, but it makes it a little difficult because if I'm hand-holding the camera, how do I, you know, show me and someone else in the same shot? And the answer is special effects. What I've got right here is a shot of my neighbor here, and he's off in the distance, and my character is about to go down into the woods. And as you can see here, uh, He's not really there. This is a composite shot that was uh, created using this shot of my neighbor standing up on the, uh, the little ridge here where I, I knew that I wanted to position myself. And he's kind of just doing his thing. Here's me running over there from the camera. I do my little thing where I kind of say goodbye got a baseball cap on and just generally trying to carry myself a little differently than I usually do. Uh, here he's preparing to shoot at something right here and then he gets shot and we'll see what that's going to look like in a little bit. And here's a very rare shot of me wearing a baseball cap because I never wear baseball hats. But I got one on right here. So uh, if we go to the, uh, the shot with the composite here. We've got my neighbor and he's over there and I'll just kind of play through it and he's locked into the background using some camera tracking software. He's going to give a little hi there. See ya! And then the camera pans over to me and then I start talking and I refer to him as being my neighbor. So that was just a simple sort of setup shot that I had for you know cre creating the illusion that I've got somebody else uh, here and uh, you know obviously if I had a uh, you know additional actors that would be great and if I had a camera person now and then it would be handy too but uh, you know it's really skeleton crew just me uh, here's a little bit more fun of a shot and this is I'm returning from what I was doing and I've been hearing these these drones flying overhead and I'm going up this hill here and it's kind of low res here but if you were going up the hill you know, before we even do this, let's see the shot of the drones. Here's a little drone shot here. Where are they? This guy here? Yeah, yeah. So I'm out. In this episode, I'm collecting uh, uh, wild edibles. But I wanted to kind of get spooked by some ships flying overhead. And you can see just above the tree line here are these little... Little drones flying up over there. Now I just shot this thing without anything up there, and then I uh, tracked the camera motion using that that same kind of software, and and then dropped these drones into 3D space here. Now if I if I click on some of them, you can see their trajectories as they're they're going through the shot here. This one right here, going through, and you can see sort of the coordinates as it's being led across. And you can see these little motion splines that they, they move right through the space. So let's go back to the, uh, the drone coming back to my house and uh, offing my neighbor. Sorry, this is a spoiler alert. My neighbor gets offed. <laughs> so here he comes up here, and you see this little yellow mask. Is, uh, the little yellow line that goes around the leaves. What that's doing is uh, keeping the leaves on top of my neighbor because my neighbor, remember, is being composited up into this scene. And without those leaves there, you can turn those off, you can see that his body just extends right down over the foreground. So we've got these an extra layer of the foreground turned on to make him seem like he's back there. And he's kind of doing his thing there. Now the mask moves away because I don't need it anymore because there's nothing that's supposed to be covering him and you'll see from behind these trees 
to the left hand side of the screen there's a little drone coming through and that drone obviously is being composited in as well and I have a layer of these trees on top of the drone. Which layer is that? This one right here, yeah. You can see these trees. I used a, a type of mask called a luminance key that is uh, covering up anything that's dark. I was fortunate, the trees here are all in silhouette. So by having anything that was dark in that layer composite over things in the background, I was able to very easily just mask these trees back over the, uh, the objects that are being composited into the scene. So you can see the little drone comes spinning over here. And we're not really getting to see this stuff super close yet. I want to kind of keep it mysterious. And you see the neighbor character is sort of noticing what's going on and he spins around to uh, maybe take a shot off at it. And then we have some laser effects coming up and I'll just step through these. One blast down his stomach and then we have this small uh, explosion effect that comes in here. And another blast, creating a secondary explosion. Just really quick, really clean and efficient. Didn't want to do a whole big thing of it. And the neighbor goes falling back down. And that syncs with me acting by kind of shaking the camera and moving off as though I'm, as though I'm hiding right there. And we can play that through a little bit more smoothly there. But it's pretty organic and once the sound effect gets in there, it's going to be pretty nice, I think. So that's it. I'm doing a lot of shots like this to get the series feeling like there's a real menacing alien threat going around. Again, I'm trying to keep it realistic, but I think it's important for the fun factor, the drama factor, to have this kind of stuff in there. And, you know, to be honest, I have a lot of fun doing it, too. So that's it. I hope you found this interesting, and I hope you're still enjoying the series. And if you're watching this before the series launches on Patreon, I hope you enjoy the upcoming series. I'm going to be releasing this video, uh, this and the other behind the scenes videos later on on YouTube to everybody. But for you right now, maybe you haven't even seen the series yet. It hasn't started yet. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.